Hi, it's Max here. Um, I haven't posted much on the Maxotics uh, YouTube channel, um, and I don't know if I'm going to be posting much in the future. I'm sort of scaling back from uh, my photography and video interests, uh, and I want to explain why. Though it's, there's so many factors, I don't even know where to begin. I'd say the first, the biggest, is that I'm 57, about to be 58, and it's... Um, Photography and video to me is a young person's game. So, um, you know, for instance, when I was in my 20s, I wanted to, you know, do movies or TV or stuff like that. Um, and it, it, it was easy to do that because I obviously had friends the same age who wanted to do this type of stuff. And that's the audience I was talking to. But now that I'm 57 um, and I'm married and I have kids, you know, I'm not looking to make friends right so i mean it's not that video photo thing i'm not looking to impress people uh and uh, another element i feel of you know targeting videos is a certain amount of sensual pornography and I, and I don't mean this in a bad way i just mean that's just the way it is right i mean when i was younger i loved to look at you know at photographs of naked women you know i just <laughs> you know i just don't have that sort of enjoyment anymore um so, you know, that whole part of photography, like I'd feel creepy taking a picture of a naked girl, you know. <laughs> I mean, not like I wanted to do it when I was younger either, um, but i just trying to give you an idea that I'm much farther away from it. So there's no, um, it's hard to get into that portrait part of photography because mostly portrait, you want to do it of, you know, young people. And uh, I just feel, I just don't really have any interest. It's not my thing. Um, and from their point of view, I'd be creepy. And then as for people my own age, they don't want their photograph taken, you know. So, you know, my brother and sister and friends and cousins or whatever, they, they don't want their... People over the age of 50 don't want their photo taken. So that's out. And I used to really enjoy taking photographs of my kids. And that's even a lot of what this is about and my my family's kids. Our kids are now, you know, older. They're all, we're all in their 20s now. So that's gone. So... So I had an idea a couple of years ago that um, when the kids left the house that um, I'd move more into photography type stuff. Um, and I didn't expect to make a lot of money, but I thought, you know, I can just make enough to, to live and, um, and sort of like go into like, you know, semi, not retirement, but, you know, have that lifestyle till I die. Because I, it's not like I have any big savings or anything, or any savings. <laughs> so, so uh in the photography realm, just going out and taking photographs, um, I just don't have enough confidence in my ability. And it's a weird thing, I think, in photography. You know, most people don't know what a good photograph is. You have to tell them. And um, I'm not taking away from other photographers. I just don't have that skill because, to me, I don't know. And I, it, to me, it's lying, even though, again, it's not lying. It's what you should do. I just don't have that, that kind of makeup to be a photographer in that way. So the next thing I turned to is I thought, well, I'll make gadgets. So um, originally I was working, on, well, I worked on this digital, which is this large format digital back. It's very, very complex and big. But to make it, I felt, well, I should start some other little projects. So I started with this, like, like you know, it's a vlogging mirror for Sony cameras. So the early ones had this design, and then this is the latest design. So, you know, it goes on, you know, Oops, goes in the camera right here and then the you know mirror flips up and I've been selling these on Amazon and then I've had later things which I haven't really had time to market well let me get to those later so the um, on the vlogging mirror uh, I think I maybe made a thousand dollars over the past year selling them um, it's not it's, and it, you know, it's probably like well I put a thousands of dollars into materials and time to to make them so Net net, they've made no money. I've only lost money on them, and uh, you know people return them, and it just you know it just makes it not fun to me anymore. Cause I don't really sell that many of them, and I think you know what happens is, you know people buy them from Amazon. They think they're returning to Amazon, not to some little schmuck like me who's making them in, his, you know, in the workshop. So um, they're like, oh, I don't want it. I'm gonna return it, you know, and you know some might say, well, it's flimsy or whatever. So my view on photography, I think, is is a minority to what most people are, are looking at it for. 
And again, this is gonna sound bad, but I don't mean it to sound bad. Many people, well, I mean myself included, you know, they have gas. You know, if you're if I'm a young person, I want this camera, right? I want like something like you know, Nikon. I guess you'd want a D850 now, right? I've this makes me feel like I can accomplish something. Like this is a powerful tool. I'm gonna master my universe. Like I feel good about myself. I'm I am gonna make those movies, a TV show, I'm gonna shoot the cover of Vanity Fair or whatever people whatever cover of something people shoot. However, when they get something like this, that's made out of wood, that's laser cut in wood, right? And plexiglass, they're like, this doesn't give you that feeling. This is utilitarian. This only solves a problem. And I'm not into that other, I mean, I am into it. I was into it when I was younger. I'm just not into it now. But even so, like my whole mindset is utilitarian. I don't really care how things look. I just care how they work. I mean, I really sort of live in my head. So although there are people who are out there who've bought these and think like me, like, nah, I don't care what it looks like. As long as it works, I'm happy. You know, most people don't. They want something that feeds into their dreams and their vision of what they're going to be. And this sort of detracts from it. So the people return it. They're sort of, I think, into that thing or they realize they're not going to vlog or whatever. And it's, you know, it's just, it's just depressing for me. So I don't really, you know, want to do it. And it gets back to that thing I'm talking about being young and being in photography. It's like a different mindset. Like, um, if I was younger making these gadgets, I think it would be good because I'd be in, I'd have the same sort of goals as the people buying them would have. Do you know what I'm saying? And I could do videos and say, okay, this looks crappy, but this is really cool. And then I think people would buy it. But I, I don't have the energy or the whatever to make those types of videos to get people excited about these things. I haven't even changed the image on Amazon to reflect this. You know, so I mean, it's, yeah, I just don't have the energy for that anymore. And by the way, I'm canceling my Amazon account and selling these. So they'll be, that'll be done in a few days. Anyway, we'll get to that later. The other things I made that I think are very cool is like this thing where you put multiple cameras on it, like front facing and back facing, and you can move around. Again, I, I think this is really cool, but I haven't had the energy to make a video explaining how cool it is. I don't have the friends to call. It's another thing, like I'm making these gadgets. It's not like I'm younger and I call my friend, hey, Joe, come on over and we do a video showing how cool it is. I don't have you know, young people like that, you know? I have one good young friend. He doesn't even talk to me anymore because I got mad at him in a studio for like one hour, like one hour out of a whole freaking year. And he doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> so anyway, the, um, and then this thing I think is very cool. It's a, uh, um, you know, it's for a car and I made this so you can quickly mount it in your car and you have these two things and then you have a two person like like a like a Seinfeld thing for for a fraction of the cost. Um, I've made, you know, these um, 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 parallax like detectors for cam for cameras because it's a high thing. It's like mini um, uh, Mini sort of, um, it makes it's sort of like a digital in sense, and that allows you to take a, a, a bunch of images and stitch them together for the Rico GR. But again, it takes me so much time to build these things, and I can't even get them perfect. I can't mark them the same time. It's just too much energy. I just can't deal with it. I'm not the same mindset as a buyer. I'm just even getting too old and slow. So that's the second thing is I want to do gadgets but I just don't I'm just not young enough to to market the gadgets in the way that they need to market it and my mindset isn't the same I'm utilitarian I'm not like you know into like you know brushed aluminum which is really what everybody wants so that's the second thing so based on the gadgets um, I don't see you know hundred dollars a month I'm not gonna retire on that it's just better if I do the stuff I normally do, which is financial data, software analysis type stuff. So it's better to just make money there and just do the the photography as a hobby. Not, I'm not going to try to make a living from it anymore. Um, a living's the wrong word, but even any supplemental income. Uh, so that experiment, I think, is is over. I tried, you know, and it, it just didn't work out. So that's another reason why I probably won't be posting as much. On Maxotics again because I'm utilitarian. Most people they have sort of a I hate to say fantasy, but a fantasy that this my mindset doesn't really fit into. So it, it creates conflict. It just gets me upset. Other people upset. You know, uh, I think I should just move on to 
to other things that I'm, I'm more interested in. Okay, so what am I going to spend my time in, in the future? Uh, I've always had an interest in economics and philosophy, or I should really just say more of an interest in philosophy. Like, why do we want the things that we want? Or why can't we all agree that we want the same thing? And why can't we uh, arrange the, our economy or our lives in a way that everybody is happy? Um, so, uh, yeah, I just, you know, the, the gadget making takes up a lot of time, you know, with the laser cutter and the CAD and all this stuff. And same thing with photography. So I just feel if I, if I get rid of all this stuff, then I have more, t more you know, intellectual time to, to, to write about this stuff and think about this stuff. I mean, I have been writing about it off and on for a while. You can read some of my essays on Medium. Uh, and that's my idea is that um, I'm not going to stop doing photography by any means. I mean, I'm, I still love my Ricoh GR and I'm still going to take photographs and I'm still going to use the digitizer when I can. Um, but I'm only going to do it as, as far as my immediate interest goes. I'm not going to try and build anything with it. Uh, and uh, if I'm going to do videos, I think maybe I like to do ranting videos, um, doom and gloom ranting videos. I mean, it's, it's stupid, but you know, that's what I enjoy. It's really the reason I wanted to do stuff in the first place. I never wanted to do, you know, I never wanted to be a cinematographer, for instance, when I did films. I always wanted to write movies and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just want to get back to writing. I guess that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to retire from the Maxotics thing and put my energies into writing whatever I want to write um, or, or or do. And the cameras will only just be tools to me like they are to the rest of you. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to worry about uh, which specific camera I have. Thank God I'm over that. I'm over gas. I mean, it took me, I don't know, 50 years, 40 years or whatever. But I can honestly say I don't think about it anymore. It's just, you know, <laughs> when I was there, I, it seems like reasonably useful. I, I pick it up and, and I just go with the content. All right, so that's that's what I'm doing. Um, feel free to always uh, email me any questions about photography or video or gadgets or whatever, and um, I'll be happy to choose a fat. So thank, if you've gotten this far, thanks for watching, and good luck with your stuff.